Huh? My man threaded that damn needle so easily. What the fuck, dude? Hello, everybody. My name is Epogen, and welcome back to the mess that is my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Mask of Fealty, even though it's kind of in a uh, Caliban's hand situation where it's bugged and it won't be fixed until later. Hopefully, it gets fixed soon, but it's still a pretty good exotic, so I still want to talk about it. So, without further ado, Let's get started. So let's talk about Mask of Fealty. So what it does is the exotic perk is called Nil Factor. And what it says is that the Withering Blades hits and bounces create a small stasis crystal and refund a portion of melee energy. Using a Withering Blade to shatter crystals or frozen targets release release a spread of Withering Blades. Uh, right now, it only the Withering Blades will work with the shatter crystals and cause more to spread out, but with frozen targets, it does not. That is a change that's coming later down the line. And it's kind of like Caliban's because it is, uh, what was it? Caliban's didn't get uh, fixed until like, I don't know, two months, three months later. No, it was like a month. So still, uh, it, it's getting a lot better treatment because it's getting done. It's getting fixed sooner, but yeah. So we're, we're going to talk about the mods real, for, real quick first. So I have on... On this screenshot here, I have Kinetic Siphon, Dynamo, Hands-On, Heavy-Handed, Grenade Kickstart, two charged-up mods, re Invigoration Recuperation, Stacks on Stacks, a Bomber, an Outreach, and a Powerful Attraction. Normal stuff in every build I use, so nothing out of the ordinary. For our supers, though, I actually have two different uh, classes for you. So I have the Prismatic class, and then I have the original. And me personally, I like the Prismatic better. But the state, but the stasis variant still has really good synergy, just because it's well part of it. So, for our grenade, we have the glacier grenade. So that way, we throw it, and then we throw a withering blade at it, and it will cause more withering blades. It's inconsistent though, but it still works. Then we got touch of winter, so like glacier grenade ha has more crystals. Grim harvest, so that way we can give ourselves stasis shards. We have on whisper of conduction, so that way our stasis shards will come to us. We have Whisper of Rending, so that way whatever stasis crystals didn't get shattered from the initial melee, well, we can shatter them with our primary. And then Whisper of Hunger, so we get more melee energy from whatever slowed or frozen target we defeat. Then we got Whisper of Shards, so that way when we shatter a stasis crystal, it actually will give us improved grenade energy regeneration. It's pretty nice for that. And then Whisper of Fissures, because it's just mandatory at this point, because it does increase shatter damage and increase the shatter damage size. The shatter size, yeah. <clears throat> and then, for the Prismatic Hunter, we're still obviously going to be rocking Withering Blade, as it is the most important part of this exotic. Then we got Silence of Squall, just to keep with the theme. We have Threaded Spectre, so that way I can keep, get some aggro off me. I have Winter Shroud on, so that way I can slow targets. Then we have the normal stuff. We have Facet of Awakening and Facet of Honor. We also have Facet of Dawn on with Facet of Ruin. And this is is like Fissures. So it, it'll increase the size and damage of my shatter of my Stasis Crystal. So it's pretty nice for that. Or Frozen Target as well. Facet of Blessing. So we can start a Health Regeneration. Then we got Facet of Purpose. So we can give ourselves Frost Armor from picking up an Orb. And so for the Weapons of Choice, uh, this is... Purely up to you. If you want to go full stasis here, you absolutely can. Like, for example, if you want to use Agar Spectre, you can. Book of Lampament, yes. Bird Glasses, yes. Whatever I... I mean, it's an option. I'd, I'd say Alethanum, but it has no synergy with uh, stasis at all. It's just a stasis weapon. So that's kind of unfortunate. But those are still options you can use. Me, personally, I don't like the... I don't like any of these stasis weapons. That's just me. It's also just a skill issue. Because I I just can't get these exotics to work for me. Other, It will work for everyone else, but not me. So, yeah. Major skill issue there. So, I've decided to go with champion uh, stunning cap capable weapons. So, battle score. Because it's unstoppable pulse rifle. I've been using Ariana's Vow a lot now. Because it got that buff with ignitions. And it does more to champion shields. I also have been using, you know, Thunderlord, Deterministic Chaos, uh, other stuff like that. So any anti-champion capable exotic is what I've been running for this. But, once again, as I sound like a broken record by now, you can use the Stasis weapons if that's for your forte. 
So, what are my final thoughts about the build? So, well, actually, for the exotic itself, I think it's pretty good. I think it's going to be even better once this whole bug is taken care of. Because I feel like with the stakes as targets one, it's just going to make it exponentially better. For right now, it's an okay exotic. I think it will still have a really good place, considering you get so much super energy so quick from shattering. And it just has a lot of good synergy with, with a lot of, you know, stasis builds and prism and I think prismatic builds personally. <laughs> it looks really good on that. But uh, tell me what you think in the comments down below. If you've tried both of them, I'll have both them links down below in the description. And also, I made a Discord server, so if you want to go uh, check that out sometime, then you'll be happy to do so. It's still a work in progress. Still need to few, uh, work out a few kinks with it. But it's still turning out pretty well. So, uh, with that, that's all I got for this. And so, I'll see you guys in the next one.